Hey guys, I'm Sonic Fiction and today I want to show you MC Edit in game. The new snapshot made so much possible and yeah, here's my try on that. Let's start with calling our menu. There it is. And now you can see we have different options. We have brush, clone, not implemented yet, and schematics. Let's start with the brush function. So if you call this one up, you can see eraser, brush color and brush sizes. So first of all, let's start with brush color. We have redstone blocks, bruise wood, grass, glass and a custom one. Let's say first of all redstone block. So which size? Start with one. So let's start and shoot one over there. I think most of you have seen this already that you can use arrows to place blocks. Let's get over to size 2. Size 2 is basically a 3x3 three three one and size 3 is 5x5. Five five. And yeah, you can now just change to spruce wood and place a spruce wood 5x5 five five block over there and let's do a glass one over there. So it works perfectly fine and you can also remove them. We have eraser, let's say air, size 3, that is basically the same size. So if you hit exactly the mill, you can remove the whole block. If you, I don't know, shoot it right there, it will move a corner like that. You can get towers or I don't know, that is up to you. For the smaller ones you can use size 2 and that is a 3x3. Three three. If you want just remove one block, brush size 1 and the eraser will just remove one block. There are also other ones like Prime TNT. Well, I think most of you will know what happens now. Yeah, Prime TNT. But the creeper is quite nice. Creeper has different sizes as well. so. Creeper size 1 is just a small explosion, quite precise. Then we have size 2, it's a little bit less than from TNT. So can you see right there? Let's compare that to primed TNT. So yeah, I, I don't know. If you do that against blocks, it's a little bit less. So size Creeper size 3, well that is <laughs> a tool for this maximum destroying, it's a radius of 10 creeper. So you can do, I don't know, um, canyons or stuff like that, or destroy <laughs> a lot of landscape. And yeah, so let's get to the last one over here, it's custom. If you click on that one, there's no size because it's custom, you can change it where whatever you want and in my case I have a custom brush that looks like that <laughs> yeah I don't know I just had fun now you can shoot up there and I don't know build me a little tower building thingy like that <laughs> I don't know but yeah it's saved over there here is a 7x7 seven seven cube and inside this cube you can build whatever you want and if you shoot an arrow it will appear. So let's change this one a little bit so you can see that it's really whatever is inside here. Let's do that, shoot an arrow over there and there it is. And it's not just only to one, it's used the clone command, so you can also place in here, I don't know, redstone blocks or in the middle a chest. Let's see, where's the chest? A chest with some blocks inside, and if you then shoot over there, it will appear with the chest, and you can look inside with all the blocks. So you can use this for, I don't know, if you want to build a giant village and some of the houses can look the same. Build a little house right there and you can shoot around. 
and have buildings pop up where you want. Alright, so that's so far for the clone command, ah, the brush command. Let's call up our menu again and get over to the next one. Uh, let's do cl uh, the schematics first. So click on this. Then you get save and load. So first of all, let's load a schematic. I have some of them pre-made. Let's load plot one first. This is my plot one. You can see that down there. Plot one is for me a five by five cube schematic. And this is inside. Let's modify this one a little bit. Yeah, not that way. Let's use our brush system for that. Redstone block, size 2. Inside there. So now it's with filled with redstone blocks. And now we want to save it again on that plot and override the old one. We can do that. Just to stay in the um, northwest corner. So that's basically your arrow if that is the uh, on your blocks like this then you're on the right side. Now you can say plot uh, save plot one click on here and this will be saved down there. So if we call this one again say load plot one you can see it's now our new saved one. Just add that block back in, and there it is. Um, I have different sized plots. I have another one, like this giant one right there. I can call that one. Let's fly a little bit out to here. That plot is a 20 by 10 by 20. Load plot 1, 2, 3 is plot 4. Load plot 4. And there it is. With all the interior and stuff like that. And you can do the same. You can just modify it the way you want. I don't know, it's like placing a fence like that. Then you say, yeah, I think that looks better. Just save it back into your schematic. Save plot 4 like that. And now you can see right there it has the fence. Great. That is the one for the um, schematics. Well, if, as well as that, if you're a redstoner and you have to build uh, often clocks, stuff like that, in, then you can do that as well, like this. Take your block, do this, and now this is a clock functioning at the set block clock, like that. And you can use it for, I don't know, say hi. And it works perfectly fine. So it's not just for people that want to um, use stuff for building maps. You can also use it as a redstoner for quick access to stuff that you don't want to build each time again. All right. And finally, there is the clone command. So let's call clone. Oh, yeah. Direction. Clone direction. Let's see. Uh, let's clone it into that direction. And that is north. All right. So let's say north. There's a clone contraption. Now we have to look inside here. In our x direction, it's four. Downwards, it's one, two, three. So like this one downwards, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Six in that direction. It's a magic shift, so it's four in that direction. This one is the same like this one because we don't want any height difference. So it's six. And how many times we want to clone it to the uh, blocks where I want to clone to the left? Well, minimum is five for this contraption in that direction. 
um, but that would mean that our blocks are exactly next to each other and we build some kind of wall or stuff like that. Let's make it to have one block difference in between, so six. Let's get over here. This is basically the blocks you get over minus one, that is five. And the block right here tells you how many times you want to clone this selected area. Uh, let's say we want to clone it, I don't know, four times. Done. Press the button and it will clone everything for you automatically. Then you have to wait a little bit to the chunks load properly. There we go. Now we have one, two, three, four, five. I don't know. Let's clone one more time. Take the button from there, place it there, clone one more time, delete this one, and we have six of them. So cloning works perfectly fine. And if you don't want to type anything in and you just want to save your progress on a build, just jump on top on the um, northwest corner, call up your clone command, say, I don't know, in any direction you want. Let's take north again and just press the button. Um, that will clone your system inside a 10 by 10 by 10 box, 10 over. <laughs> yeah, so that is for quick um, saving process for your redstone builds or whatever you do. And yeah, that is all I have for you today. Hope you liked it. And world download for this one is in the description. Bye.